classic. That is just that is the perfect <laughs> picture, man. Perfect, perfect picture. What does it say? Game changer in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. Um, yeah. Let's do. Let's look at. Let's look at. Oh, uh, James. Let's get some James Brown going. Right. Right. James really right. He he. Uh, you know, James is a phenomenal guy. When I watched the movie James Brown, I was I was impressed. Right, um, and um, man, that's a he, the brother that um, rest in peace. Right, that played James. Only he could play James like that. Right, that was a classic movie. Right, classic acting skills because he depicted James to the T. Right? Definitely, like that week. Definitely, you know, you know rest in power, brother. Rest in power. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, he's got some interesting stuff in his chart, right? And 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 here's the thing: the better Mars is placed in the sign, the lighter the dosha, right? The less intense the dosha. Um, he does have Mars with K two, however, so that still is going to produce a high level intensity. But it is it's in Leo. And Mars is the yoga karaka or the best planet that rules the fourth, excuse me, the fifth and the tenth house, a trine in the Kendra house. So that is a good planet to have for cancer. But it is in a Kujidosha placement. Now, there's a lot of times they'll say it's canceled. It can be canceled if there's positions that yield certain lighter aspects, right? <clears throat> Um, it's not really in the sense canceled. Um, Maybe just be, you just survive it. You, you, you. Yeah, you, you can endure it. It's you, not gonna just, yeah. you know. But remember, domestic violence was in his life, wasn't it? Right, but he. I mean, it never. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't, it didn't ruin know, him. No, it didn't ruin him. Yeah. Right, but he was. He slapped her. Right. <laughs> She went across that table. Oh, James. Right. James wasn't no joke. Right. Yeah. And remember, he grew up with that fiery energy. You know, James Brown, you know, doing his little James Brown. I'm James Brown. I'm, I have to have that confidence to win. And that confidence to win. I mean, he was no joke. You know, like, he, they, you know, um, in the classic scene where he's with, um, is it Maceo? Not Maceo. I want to say his 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 uh, hype man. What was his name? Can't remember his hype man's name. When they were in there, and um, <clears throat> he was talking to the guy that was, he said, "What is this a drum?" He said, "You all got drums, right?" And he's like, "Look, are you he's like he find him or something, right?" That intensity, that need to be number one. Now, sun is in the 10th house in Aries, exalted, right? That is also why we see James Brown as the godfather, son, father of soul, right? Right. But, and Venus is with it, the planet of music, right? So, again, classic position for his placement produces that James Brown energy, right? But it's also interesting that he wrote a song called it's a man's world right <laughs> or at least performed it i don't know if he wrote it but performed it right and a man's world is just that what james would adhere to with mars in the second house in leo leo is the sign of manhood right fatherhood so again it can reduce some of the intensity but the dosha is still there especially when it starts when it's conjunct a malefic planet which is k2 that is classic. Jupiter there does reduce the malefic energy. That is one of the things I was going to mention to you is that Jupiter can, can simmer down the intensity. Right. Right. But Mars in the second, his mouth was fiery, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, even his voice is like, 
scratchy. It's like yeah, James. Hit back. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. That's James, right? That Mars, exactly, that raspy, harsh. And you'll see that over and over and over. Mars in the second house will produce that. Kamala is a little different, right? But mm-hmm. nonetheless, right, I'm sure, right, them words beat out the raspiness by far, right? But James Brown, right, is a tell-all for Kuja Dosha in that it does show some of the lesser effects, because everyone we've seen so far has been almost right at the tip of the iceberg, the iceberg. with the malefic output, right? But James, you know, and again, I think because he married, he married a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's his times, third right? wife. I think that's his third wife right there. That is his third wife. The black woman was a second wife. He had two black, mm-hmm. two black women that were he was married to, and then the third one, his white, the, the white or mixed wife. I think she's white, right? But nonetheless, right, you know, that Kuja Dosha plays itself out. It has to play itself out, but the uh, aggression factor is diminished to a degree. But it is there, right? And mm-hmm. as we can see, domestic violence, right, his upbringing, right, all those things played out very well. So some other things.